Let's learn about Python arithmetic expressions. So an expression is any combination of items such as variables, literals, operators, and parentheses. For example, x is assigned to five times y plus two. In an expression, the right-hand side is evaluated first to get the value, and then it's assigned to the left-hand side, which is a variable. Literals are the actual values inside your code, and such as a thousand. So if you set like weight to 1,000, that 1,000 would be an integer literal. And also note that commas are not allowed in integer literals. So if you wanted to write 1,000, it wouldn't be 1, 000. It would just be 1, 0, 0, 0. Arithmetic operators are the operators you use for just basic arithmetic, like the plus sign for addition, the minus sign for subtraction, the asterisk, the shift 8 button, if you can't. Find it on your keyboard. That is for multiplication. The forward slash button is for division. And two asterisks in a row is exponent. Let's say you had x asterisk asterisk y. That would mean x raised to the power of y. And the table shown here is the list of precedence rules, which is the order of evaluating expressions. So in any expression, if there's parentheses involved, like the example at the top of the screen, y plus 2, that is evaluated first. Next, if there's any kind of exponents used, that's evaluated next. Then if there's any numbers that are negative, that's evaluated next. And then all the multiplication, division, and modulo happens. And then when all that is complete, then we do all the addition and subtraction. And within an expression, if two things have the same precedence rules, let's say you're multiplying and you're dividing in the same expression, then the order goes from left to right. Expressions are evaluated left to right if they have the same precedence. Let's test out some arithmetic operators in a Python program. In this Python program, let's create a few variables. Num1, five, num2, is seven, and num3 is all right, and let's try out some arithmetic. Total is num1 plus num2 plus num3, and let's print the total. So if you add them all up, you get 24, and we can multiply them. So based on the precedence rules, note that multiplication happens before addition and subtraction. So it should multiply five times seven. Let's make these numbers even easier. I don't wanna to have to calculate this in my head. So let's just say two and three and make this five. So two times three, six, and six plus five is 11. All right, so let's, yeah, let's, also let's rearrange the order, see if we get the same results. And so now num3 is going to be added to num1 plus num2. So it's not going to be num3 plus num1 first, which would give you 7 times num2. 7 times 3 is 21. It's not going to be 21. It's still going to be 11 due to the precedence rules. And so just to make your expression a little bit clearer, put the parentheses where you want something to happen first. I mean, this is not going to change your code at all you're still going to get 11, but it makes it really clear that num1 is being multiplied by num2. And for whatever reason, let's say you wanted to do this addition first before it got multiplied by num2. So you wanted to add num1 and 3, which is 7, and then multiply that 7 times num2, which is 3, to get 21. By adding these parentheses, you're changing the how this expression um, is evaluated by giving higher precedence to these parentheses. So it's going to do this addition first. And now you get 21 instead of 11. Okay, so that is just some very simple um, addition and multiplication. Let's try something else. Let's do num3 divided by num2. So 5 divided by 3. So 3 goes into 5 once. And some change, so 1.6666. We could also try to use the modulus operator to get the remainder. 3 goes into 5 
once and then there's two left, right? So you get the remainder of two. Let's try the exponent. Let's say num1 to the power of num2. That means two to the third power. And that gives you eight. 